Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a swimming or flying system with CV2. First of all, you will need your makeup pen. Press on backpack, then on oops, use, just on your makeup pen, and then just grab it. Press on open palette, and then on circuits V2, and search for get local player. You will need that and you will just spawn it anywhere and then you will need a left hand velocity left hand yeah player left hand oh no this one uh player left hand velocity and also the right one so player right hand velocity um, there it is. Just spawn this one. Now you will wire get local player with player left hand velocity and also get local player with player right hand velocity. Then you will spawn two vector splits. And then you will wire vector with vector and also here. And then you will need six less than less oops less then spawn one and I'm just gonna clone it. And then I would recommend just um splitting them a little bit. Um now you will wire X with A, Y with A, Z with A, and also here. Now you will configure B. Minus 2. Minus 3. And again minus 2. And the same goes for here. Minus 2. Minus 3 and minus 2. After that, you will need one or configure it, add one input, and just clone it down here. Then you will wire result to input with all of them also here then you will spawn one end oops and oh wait and and you will also add one input and you will wire result to input also here and then you will need a um, variable bool. Spawn this right here. And wait, before we wire it, we will clone it and we will make one of them true. Oops, true. Then you will wire this one with this one. And we will need to. Um, configure the name I will just use a S because why not these both just need to have the same name and you will just press submit to submit the name now you will need a if um, it's not loading Okay, now um, wire result with condition, and now you will need a event receiver. Configure it to up the thirty hertz, and wire it with if, and you will need one velocity add. Just like that, wire then with add velocity. 
now you will wire target with get local player and you will need a vector crate just like that and you will wire it with direction okay now you will need a vector split and one at then you will wire x with x let me just yeah okay z with z and y with value and sum with y and then you will configure value and type in one after that we will need a get lock camera but now you can choose which one you want to use. Um, there's get local camera forward and get local uh, local camera up. I recommend get local camera forward. Um, it's just if you fly or swimming, you will um, fly or swim in the forward direction where you're looking. And get local camera up is just in the upper direction. It means if I look forward, I will fly or swim upward, uh, upwards. And if I look down, I will fly or swim forward um yeah but i like forward more it just feels better than a look camera up then you will wire vector with vector and then you will need a trigger volume v2 we'll just take this one and we will spawn it you will wire player and turned with the true variable uh, bool and play exited with the false variable bool. After that you can manipulate a trigger volume so it just fits in your pool or on the space where you want to fly. I'm also gonna show you how it looks like. Let me just manipulate it. I will also turn on um, showing gadgets to everyone, even if my Mac pen is not on my hand. So you just can see that I'm in the zone and I will be able to fly and swim. Oh, and if you think it's too fast, you can configure the speed. Here it is, speed. Um, like I recommend one for swimming and for fly you can use whatever you want because if I use one to swim it's harder to get up and yeah it's just not that fast uh, than before and how already said you will fly or swim in that uh, in the direction where you're looking so if I look up, I will fly or swim upwards. You can experiment um, with the speed and just look what just fits your room and what you'll just like. And there's also the maximum speed, so you can change it if it's just too fast. Like, wait, I'm just gonna use maximum speed 3. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, or maybe a friend, and I hope you just enjoyed the video and liked it. And if you did, then please leave a like or maybe comment something. And if you have questions or just some ideas, just type them also in the comments. And yeah. I will see you next time. Bye.